Hi, in this part of the instructional video on MIPAV, we're going to show you a little bit about uh, scripting. And scripting is a tool that allows you to apply a procedure um, to a sequence of images. So you can imagine, oftentimes you have a group of images and you want to run some pre-processing steps before you actually take the data and analyze it um, in some way. And you, of course, one option is to manually go through and, and apply each each you know procedure to, to each of the images, but um, actually this is a that would be really time consuming and, and I wouldn't want to do that. So what we can do is is we can use this this scripting tool in MIPAV to be able to actually uh, tell MIPAV you know a sequence of steps that you want to apply and then give it a few images to apply it, you know those steps to. So the first step here is to actually record a script and tell MIPAV you know what we, we want to do. And so here is uh, an MP rage or T1 weighted image. And say we want to blur this and then save it in another format, for example. So what we can do is we can go to scripts and hit record script. And that'll bring up this this little script recorder dialog box. And this is helpful because now MIPAV is watching what we're doing and it will go through it'll it'll know what steps that we what steps we go through uh, in order for it to be able to apply it to different images. So here is um, the image that we want we want to show MIPAV you know what we're going to do on and we can go here to algorithms filters spatial Gaussian blur and just blur the image for example and um, so we can let it do that. And that will bring up the results here. And so we can uh, make the results bigger. Now notice that the MIPAV recorded that we blurred the image, but it didn't record that I made this image larger. Because uh, for the processing steps, uh, we, we don't really care, or for the, for the purpose of processing, we don't really care about the steps that uh, you know we've just done in the GUI. We care more about changes in, in, the, in the image itself. So now that we've blurred it, we might want to save this as a different format somewhere else. So we can go to File, Save As, and just put it here, say. And then we can tell it maybe we want this file to be a nifty file. And it'll, we have other options in case we want to you know, save only certain slices, but we want to save them all. So here it is. Now, now the path knows exactly where we saved the image. So the next thing we might want to do is say that we're finished. If we just run this script as it is on a whole bunch of images, all the images will end up, you know, blurred and saved, but but we'll have both the original and the, and the blurred images open. And if we're going to do this to you know hundreds or thousands of images, uh, th that's not very feasible. <laughs> we're going to run out of memory because we're sort of stacking it. So uh, what we can do here is we can just take this um, uh, this, this blurred image and close it, and close the original image as well. And, and here you can see that MIPAV knows that we've closed these images now. And we may also want to tell MIPAV that you know, any of the memory that we've reserved uh, you know, in these steps we actually don't need anymore, so we can hit, hit this garbage collect button. So now that we have the whole script written, uh, we can you know, pause it and then save it, say. Uh, and we can save it, for example, as, as this. And now we can close this. And w so our next question is: Now that we have this script, you know, can, will it work? Can we apply it to a couple of images? Well, to to actually make MIPAV do these steps, we can go to scripts, run script, and just select a few. Oh, sorry. We for first select the script we're going to run here, um, the lower script, and then um, that brings up the script tool. And so the script tool shows uh, the inputs. The script needs, and then it also has uh, a list of images and VOIs. And so the idea here is that uh, we may want to be able to apply this script to, to many different images. So we can go ahead and add a few images, like for example that MPH we used, um, which is here, and maybe also a, a T2 weighted image. So let's see if we can find one here, T2 weighted image. Okay, so now we have these two images here, and we can select them both. And if we want to apply the script to these images, we can drag them over here to the input one, because of course Blur only has one input. And now it's, it, it tells us that MIPAV is going to run, you know, the first time on the T2, and then the second time on the T1. And this is actually going to then, uh, you know, go through and, and apply the procedures that we we taught it to each of these images. So we can go down here and click Run Script. 
And here it is. Mipav's opened the T2. It's blurring it. We see the blurred image, and it closes them. To the T1, same thing. Blurs it, and then closes it. And we're all done. So now we can we can go in and see, you know, did it work? Well, if you take a look here, we can see that um, the Gaussian blur it did in fact save, or the blurred version of the of the MPH did did in fact in fact save, and, and similarly the blurred version of the of the T2 saved. And so we can open these and, and take a look at them, make, make and make sure they look right. It's exactly what we would imagine, and the T2 looks great too. So. Um, of course, this is a very simplistic uh, approach, and it, it you know may be good for applying a, a couple of steps to a few images. Um, but there are much more you know advanced and and uh, flexible ways of, of scripting in the path. Uh, some of these include uh, you know using, for example, GIST. Uh, but for small manipulations, uh, we found this this scripting tool to be very helpful and and easy to learn and quick to use. So, well, thank you again for all of your attention, and I uh, hope.